Hey guys, Harsh here, back in video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the soil moisture sensor over here. So this basically measures the amount of water that is present in the soil and use it with a node MCU so that you can wirelessly transmit your data to any of your like irrigation system or something like that to automatically irrigate the soil or just uh, to measure the soil moisture so this is just going to be a pretty simple basic project and as you can see i have my soil moisture sensor this is the actual sensor that senses the moisture and it goes into this board over here and i have directly soldered it onto it as you can see the polarity over here does not matter so you can connect it in either way it doesn't really matter and at the bottom as you can see we have four pins over here so vcc ground will be our power and then we have a digital output and an analog output for this particular case we'll be using the analog output because it will give us more accurate data and then you can set it up accordingly to your need so now let's connect it to our board first we'll connect our vcc this is the this pin over here as you can see the leftmost pin and we'll connect it to the 3.3 volts on the node mcu just like so then we'll take the ground connection and connect it to the ground on the soil moisture sensor which is right over here then we'll take the analog output which is labeled as a0 as you can see or i should say ao and then connect it to the only analog input on the node mcu which is right over here labeled as a0 just like this so that is it for the connection you can also use the digital pin if you like but as i said before it will just give us a very rough reading so that won't do you any good so now that we have connected it to our board let's head over to a computer and program it okay so now i have my node mcu connected to my computer now before you upload this code first we need to make sure that our arduino ide can actually program our node mcu because by default it can only program the arduino boards so to do that first of all you have to go to the file section then click on preferences this will open up this small window and in the additional boards manager ul section here you have to paste this link over here i will give it in the description box below and if you have previously pasted any other link then you can just put a comma like i have put it here and then you can paste your second link and then click on ok then you can head to the boards manager section and type in esp8266 you will only get this one option over here which is by the esp8266 community so just click on the install button i have already installed in mine that's why i'm getting the remove button and once it's installed you can just restart your ide now coming to the code as you can see it is a pretty small code that is just because we are measuring the sensor data that we are receiving from the sensor so first of all we have defined a variable which is soil moisture pin obviously it is set at a0 and for the node mcu i think there are not any other analog input pin so you can just leave it at a0 or you can just uh, use this method to define it then in the setup function we just define our serial monitor with the 9600 baud rate and in the loop function which will run again and again we are serial printing the values from the soil moisture pin and those values will be the analog read values so in digital read it will just give us only output 0 or 1 but in analog read it will give us more accurate reading and the whole process is delayed by 500 millisecond or half a second you can obviously increase it or decrease it according to your need so now we can just uh, select our board from this section over here just go to the select board and port and here you have to type in node mcu so as you can see there are two different modules for me it is the 1.0 esp 12e module so i will just select that and my serial com port is com port 5 and it is the only one showing so i will just select that one as well obviously the com5 in your case may be com6 or com7 so just make sure to check that and once both of them are selected you can just go ahead and click on ok and as you can see now it is in bold letters so now we can just press this button it will first compile the sketch and upload it to the node mcu so now as you can see it is uploaded now we can go ahead and open up the serial monitor just by using this option over here in the top right corner so after opening the serial monitor you can see we are getting the value 1024 this is the value that you will get in a complete dry state because I am in my studio and I didn't put the sensor in the soil. But the way this sensor work is by measuring the conductivity between the two probes. So if I try to touch both of the probes then you can see the value decreases. And by this you have probably guessed it right. The value will be zero in absolute conductivity or when the soil is completely wet. So by this you can just uh, measure your optimal dryness of the soil that you like and the optimal wetness of the soil you like so let's say that the soil when it's dry will give a value of 800 and when the soil is wet it should give a value of 200 
so if the value goes above 800 then you can turn on your irrigation system and the irrigation system will remain on unless and until the value 200 is reached so that is guys that's how you can use the soil moisture sensor with your esp32 and monitor your soil and water level and transmit it via wi-fi or bluetooth to your irrigation system so thanks for the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it i have provided the code and circuit diagram in the description box below so if you have any doubts you can check that out as well so as always i will see you all in the next one